men of another sort who had this passion, who were able to do incredible exploits in understanding the heart of God and showing the heart of God to nations and brought them to repentance through their actions. God would raise up prophets and God would raise up men and raise up women with such an anointing that they would bring the whole society to their knees and back to God. Ezra prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it. One day he said, I am going to be a man of the word and I'm going to tremble by it. And I'm going to act on everything I read. And God saw a man who was saturated with his word, who hungered and loved and appreciated the word. God supernaturally lays his hand on only those who hunger and thirst after his word and do it. David was a man of a different sort. How so a man cleanses his way by taking heed to the word. The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. I delight myself in your word. I'll not forget your word. How I love your law. It's my meditation all the day. Your word's a lamp to my feet, a light to my path. Your word is pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. He said to humble ourselves before God, to seek him for a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. So we fasted. Jesus, Paul the Apostle, the early church, Nineveh, Esther, read all through the Bible, they fasted, they fasted, they fasted, and they prayed. Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes were a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Sin wounded the heart of God. We have wounded the heart of God more and more every day. I'm more and more aware of the, that I'm going to stand before the judgment seat. And when there's a separation, sheep and goats, and the books are open, and he's judged. If you had been a broken man, if you had not allowed pride and jealousy to enter your heart, focus, focus, keep your eye on the prize. The high calling of God in Christ Jesus, keep your eye focused.